And Pollard put up three touchdowns. Now, my question for you, Nate, I want to hear your thoughts on the Cowboys win. Should Pollard be getting the lion's share of the reps even when Zeke returns? And before you answer that question, I do have some stats here for you on this uh, on this wonderful slide that I prepared. This season, Tony Pollard has more rushing yards than Jonathan Taylor, Ezekiel Elliott, Alvin Kamara, Leonard Fournette, Austin Eckler, Najee Harris, and A.J. Dillon. So before you give your thoughts on Tony Pollard, whether he should be the starting number one running back over Zeke or not, just let that keep that in mind. Just so we know. Because I heard what Michael Irving had to say about it today. Michael Irving was heated on first take today. I love him. Yeah. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Yeah, no, we handled business. I, I was not even scared about this game. I saw we put up 14-0, and I started doing other stuff. I had, I had more important stuff to do at that point. I just knew the game was over. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I, I love Pollard. Uh, I sadly played him in fantasy, so he did not love me uh, this week. But, you know, definitely a great game. Um, Cowboys played excellent. Dak Prescott's finally getting back into his system again. I like this team, if you watched that game, you you saw the amount of pace that, that Cowboys team had. Like Dak was clicking with his offense, and like that's why they scored fourteen zero so fast is because that offense was clicking and that Bears could not stop it. Um, and then defense obviously pops off every every single week. You know, Micah Parsons is DPOI. Trayvon Diggs almost had an interception, a uh, stupid roughing the passer penalty uh, that stopped that. Um, but yeah, obviously a great game. I think the Cowboys are figuring out again. Have a bye week, and then have another bye week the week after that when they play the Packers. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely, um, you know, very excited, uh, for this Cowboys team because they're going to figure it all out. Um, and, uh, you know, this is just, you know, they're coming up, you know, all the way up to that Lombardi. And so this is just a part of the journey. And this is just, you're seeing the extension of the Cowboys. But talking about Pollard, I, um, I'm going to be honest. I'm a really, really big Zeke fan. Um. And I'm a really big Pollard fan. I, I, I liked when we got Pollard into our system. Now, do I think that he should get the lion's share of reps over Zeke? Me, personally, I don't believe so. And, he, and, he, and here's why. I think that Zeke Elliott does more than just rushing the ball when he's on the field. He's a great pass blocker. Uh, he's good pa- uh, catching the ball out of the backfield. And I trust him on three downs, where I believe Pollard is more of a spark plug guy. Even though he does create great offense, even though he does, you know, create a lot of stuff, I think his game and his offense is predicated on what Zeke does or what Dak does. Like he's in the perfect system to be doing the things that he's doing. Um, but I, honestly, though, I f- believe Zeke brings more um, different skill sets, more skill sets than Pollard does, such as pass blocking, ability to catch the ball in the backfield, uh, leadership. Um, and so I, I still would give Zeke, uh, the majority of the reps when he returns, but I love Pollard and this is probably the best tandem of running backs in the league right now. And that's just another thing that you add onto one of the best defenses in the NFL, one of the best running back tandems in the NFL. I mean, I don't know exactly what we call San Francisco. They're kind of just one of the best offensive talent. I, I don't know exactly what their running back room, wide receiver room looks like. Uh, but yeah, honestly, this is just another thing where you have to say the best, the best, the best, and you can't call the Cowboys the best team in the NFL. I, when, when do we start calling them that? They're not seven and zero. They started out slow the first game. They lost to the Eagles with a backup quarterback. But when you look at this team, this is probably the best team in the NFL. I'm gonna say it right now. Team full of dogs. There's even a ginger on that team, and he's a dog. That is the only ginger I will ever give that title to. I don't care who you are. Conor McGregor, I'm sorry. Cooper Rush is just better. What was in that Sprite you drank earlier, bro? <laughs> You're on something. You may have a bunch of dogs, but you ain't the best team in the league. Not even close. I don't we are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I mean, he's better than my team, so I, I mean... At least he. At least Everybody's he, he, better. he, he lost Anybody's 30, better than your team. He lost like thirty points to the Eagles this past week. Any team can beat your team right now, except for maybe the Cardinals. Cardinals will dog us. <laughs> yeah, so, but I'm I'm sorry, but 
you know. I asked this question because I believe that Pollard should be the number one running back in Dallas. Michael Irving thinks that it would tear apart the team if you make Tony Pollard the number one running back in Dallas. But he's not paid that much. No. And Jerry Jones was actually asked today by a Dallas reporter. I decided to go on Twitter and try to see if anybody has asked Jerry because Jerry speaks to the media frequently. Uh, Jory Epstein, hopefully she's of no relation, asked Jerry Jones if he understands the argument for Tony Pollard as Cowboys running back number one. He said there's no argument. He said Zeke's ability to punish, Zeke's ability to deliver it, and Zeke's ability to what he's done for us in pass protection and, frankly, Zeke's ability to make big plays are there. We're going to go as Zeke goes, Jerry said. I really mean that. Zeke's that important to this team and every bit as important as he was before the game. I really mean that he's integral to our success this year. So Jerry obviously thinks that Tony Pollard, while great, serves a purpose in the spot that he serves. And I agree. He's a great number two, like, with it as a tandem, he's a great, like, number two punch to follow it up because he's not a power back. He's a, he's a much faster guy. He's a receiving threat. He adds a whole nother dynamic to the offense when he's in the game. And I think that's why you've seen such an uptick in Zeke's play this year because he kind of feels that pressure behind him because he knows he's got a guy behind him now. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I wouldn't even consider him to be running back two. He's r- running back one B. Zeke's one A. Uh, Paul is one B. And so, like, this offense is just built on both of those guys playing exceptionally well. Um, so Pollard plays exceptionally well, uh, running the ball, making big plays on offense. Zeke pass blocks. Zeke leads the offense. You know, he kind of directs some stuff back there. Um, and I, I still think I would trust Zeke on a goal line situation before I would trust Pollard, if I'm being honest in this present moment. I think Zeke, Zeke is just has I agree. an innate I ability agree. to hit those, like, few yards. Um, that I, like even like he he goes into um goes into like a a big mess of guys and he comes out five yards like out out, out of that whole thing and so Zeke has that ability to score on that goal line where I don't think Pollard has that ability yet but Pollard definitely is going to get you to that goal line and so definitely this is probably one of the best offenses I've seen the Cowboys have they don't have the wide receivers that they used to they once used to but this running back is helping Dak with play action. Dak can run the ball too if he really needs to, and so you know I I, I cannot wait uh, till February. Uh, cannot wait. I don't think you guys are going to make it to February, but I do think this is a team that is is built to you know be very good. And the way it's looking now, I don't know if I mean realistically, I don't know if if it works out correctly in the NFC Championship game. I do really feel like. Unless somehow the seeding works against Dallas, it should be Philly and Dallas. There's no other NFC team as good as them. No. Outside of the Eagles. It's been it's been proven all year. Cooper, even when Cooper Rush was in there, this team was able to win games. And luckily for Mike McCarthy and his job's sake, that has been the case. But it's going to be interesting to see what goes on from this point. But 